Now, what would we do? Would the president say, well, it's OK. Let them test and develop. Or would the president want to do something about it? What I'm, I'm here to tell you tonight is he doesn't have the option of shooting it down once it's launched. He might. I mean, we have ballistic missile defense, both regional and continental. But I, I, to, not to mince words, and my colleagues might want to fix this, but they don't work. I mean, which is to say that not with any confidence anyway, and certainly not against more than one warhead when you don't have all the telemetry information before the flight, and the North Koreans probably won't provide it. So <laughs> if you're going to intervene in that scenario, you're going to have to strike, and uh, Scott and I were talking about this, the, the term of art, if this is really art, that's used these days is left of launch. So that would be a US conve presumably conventional strike if we had the warning and if we had assets in place at a target in North Korea. What's your model of this, of the North Koreans? That we do that and they do nothing? That's a pretty good model. But I don't know that you should have confidence in that. And what I'm saying to you is, if you really want to stop the North Korean program from developing into one which has manifests itself with a capability to strike American targets with nuclear weapons, and you want to do it by the use of force, you should be prepared for another Korean War. And that can happen any day. So if you have another plan, and it's containment, which is what we've been engaging with for a long time, that's going to take a while. right? And it's not going to stop the launch. That leads you, perhaps, to think about prescription other than the use of force or doing nothing. And 